Welcome to Ball Talk Deep, where we talk deep about ball. It's Andrade and Irwin back at it again. Drop a like, drop a sub, drop a comment before we get into it. We post five videos a week. And today, we're talking about something serious. Mm. You got these rumors. Stefan or Wardell, Stephen Curry, did not automatically sign his extension. Now, you know, the media takes it one way or the other. Like, it's just oh, throwing, shit. It's just throwing gasoline yeah, into the fire. Yeah, exactly. Should he leave the Warriors? Is he going to leave the Warriors? Oh, my like, God. Like, is that yo. time? Is he going to team up with LeBron? Dude, what? Dude, he's going go, to gonna, gonna take his uh, talents to South Beach. What? what? I welcome that. Yeah. And then that that gave us the thought of, I mean, you guys could already tell by the title, but going like, okay, what should Steph Curry do? And we'll, the way that we're going to present our, our uh, uh, perspective on it is like, if we're in Steph's shoes... What would we What would we do if we were in his shoes that we think is best for him? Of course, that right? yeah, makes sense. And yeah, and you already know, man. BTD stats, man. And Russia, you're gonna change it up over here. Russia, you're gonna say his stats, and to say the money aspect as well, we're gonna say how much oh, money he's contracts. earned as well. Okay, with the contract, go. The babyface assassin, six three point guard at one eighty five pounds. Um, all right, y'all see the y'all see the, both the career and current season. Let's go with the current season so you guys get a bigger, better picture of what you know how the man's playing right now. Forty-two games played so far this season, averaging twenty-nine point four points, five point five rebounds, six assists, forty-seven point six percent from field goal, forty point six from the three, ninety-two point six free throw percentage, averaging fifty-nine point one true field goal percentage, and then. Let's look at this man's contract. Now, the contract that we're currently looking at is when he signed a five-year, $201 million contract. Super max. <clears throat> Super max. And at the time, if I remember correctly, was the highest contract ever by an NBA player. I think he was the one that broke that $200 million cap for uh, NBA. Might be wrong, but yeah. Um, and yeah, this is his current... All right, so he's got two years left. And by those two years is this current year that he signed into and then next year. So that door, that door is knocking right now. You know what I mean? It's not that far away. He's, so he's within reach of that door. Yeah. And you guys, if you guys don't know, I'm sure a lot of the fans know the way contracts work is like if that player is already on his last year, which for Curry would be next season, ten, instead of waiting for that contract to expire, you want to get, you want to trade him so you can get the most you can back. He's not because you know, once it, he's not gonna get traded probably, but you know, you try to get the most out of you that you can. We saw it happen with James Harden and the Rockets this year, forty three point uh, forty three million, and then next year he's earning forty five point seven million. You know, chump change, mm -hmm. and he'll be thirty three next year, and he'll be thirty four as an unrestricted free agent in the twenty twenty two off season. Mm. So, Interesting. All that being said. Mm, what should Steph Curry do, man? Yeah, okay, so Andrade, if you were in Steph and Curry's shoes, what would you do? All right, I thought about this a lot. I'll, t I'll get more into the details on why, but I did consider, you know, his legacy in Golden State, in San Fran, how long he's been there, if he should, you know, be one of those rare players like a Kobe Bryant, which, you know, very rare nowadays, extremely rare. And... Ultimately, oh, and I also considered his age, you know, this how much he got left in the tank. Would you still want to keep winning? Does he still want to keep winning? Of course he It's not does. just from, if I were in his shoes, but it's like you got to put yourself in that player's mind too. And I've decided, if I was Steph Curry, I think your best option, honestly, honestly, go, go test out the market, bro. You know what? I would go to a different organization. There's a lot of winning organizations. Player empowerment is a thing. Empower yourself. Do what you feel is right. Um, San Fran is a great city to live in. Your family's been raised there. So I think I keep that in account too because it's very important. They're, they're human beings at the end of the day. But guess what? There's a lot of other nice cities in the United States to live in. And Look, that's... What about you? I'll probably stay, man. Look. Uh, Pussy. W w I, <laughs> one thing you gotta take in consideration is Clay Thompson has not played these past two years. Mm -hmm. When it comes to that, you put Clay Thompson on that team, Golden State automatically is a championship contender or right there in that window. 
I think the reason why probably he didn't sign that contract. I disagree, by the he way. He wants to keep his options open. Players have done this multiple times before. As in Actually, go-, go. What? Actually, what? I don't think that's why he didn't sign the extension. Why? <clears throat> I don't think it's or not so much or, to keep or, his options open, but or I he think can make, it's or he to can make up- more money. No, no. It's to apply pressure. Yeah, of course. That's what Golden I was saying. State. As a negotiating tactic to make Golden State in the off season to make some moves. Oh, you said better. to uh, you said options. Yeah. Like that. I thought well, yeah. you meant like to uh, yeah, yeah. look into the free yeah. market or whatever. Yeah. I didn't think that's. I don't okay, think yeah, he's yeah, yeah, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Options and obviously you know to see you know what Golden State. Yeah, kind of like what Giannis did last uh, off season. Okay, because Clay Thompson is gonna come back. We don't know how he's gonna be. But they asked Even him. if he comes peak Clay Thompson, though, I, I 100% disagree with you on that. I don't. I, before, I thought maybe, like before we saw this Warriors team play, but now nah, you slot Clay into this. This is not no contending team, bro. This is not no, and Kelly Oubre does not want to come off the bench. So now it's like, okay, what are you going to do with him? And and now, like financially speaking, there's they've kind of like put themselves in a tight corner. Mm-hmm. So now they don't even have like a lot of money to play with unless the owner, which. I'll give the owner of the of the Warriors a lot of credit. Mm-hmm. That man has spent Mula. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, he yeah. spent the Mula for the championships. Mm-hmm. It's well deserved. Yeah, yeah. And he has he is partially responsible for developing Golden State into an actual A one organization and culture. You know what I mean? But the good thing about it is, but there's only so much money you can play with, and now it's like you're already deep into. <laughs> how much deeper do you want to get into this, bro? Well, they got assets to be able to do something about it, man. Yeah, you know they got some young players that they can move. They got the they got that pick from the Timberwolves that's top three protected. Mm-hmm. You see how bad the Timberwolves are doing right now. That's gonna be a good pick, you know, to be able to do. And with the off season, with the lack of uh, options that is available in the free agency, trade market's going to be pretty active. So I think there's something that they can get to augment the the roster per se. Okay. Uh, to please uh, Stephen Curry. Well, see, I think the reason I would leave if I was Curry is one, you're only going to be 34, mm-hmm. and with his style of game and his skill set mm-hmm. and his talent and his leadership, um, he can actually play until his 40s. Like six years, easily, easy. We've seen three point. Like, look at Corver, look at Allen. Three point shooters have time, like have a lot of uh, a long- longevity in this league. And yeah, Curry being the best one in all time. Yeah, but Curry also has durability issues as well. He's Bro, been- it's not that serious. Come on, especially as he ages, like he will go from being a Batman to a Robin or a third option. But a fucking Curry as a second or third option. Dog, that's that's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And two, what really, really, really breaks the nail for me on this one is is the player empowerment movement. And I'm gonna bring a goat from another sport into the conversation, and that's Tom Brady. Go. If I'm looking at any player currently in the league right now, there's only two players that are in their 30s that were drafted and have stayed with the same team they drafted: Dame Litter and Curry. And both of them. It's hard for me to picture like them ever leaving that culture, that legacy with that team. But guess what? I thought the same thing with Dwayne Wade for the Miami Heat, and I thought the same thing with Tom Brady. Yeah, but Golden State's you, not Golden State's not gonna low ball Steph Curry. They're gonna pay him whatever he wants. Okay, that was Wade. Unlike, but what know? about Tom Brady? And Tom Brady, how long Tom Brady was in the Pats? Do you know how long? Too long. Shit, the Dolphins fan. Psh- Felt like forever. <laughs> Nineteen years. Way too long. Curry at the end of this contract would have been with the Warriors for twelve years. That's still a whole seven-year-old <laughs> difference between Brady and Curry. So ever since Brady was able to leave the the Pats, which it was so hard to think of him doing that. Guess what? His Pats legacy is still intact. You know that New England Tom Brady legacy. It's still cementing. Guess what? He was able to go to Tampa Bay and still layer on his legacy and, if anything, improve his legacy because it went to show it wasn't just the system. It wasn't just the coach it Belichick. It wasn't Bill Belichick. It was Belichick. like Belichick. <laughs> it was Brady that came in and fucking, bro, I, look at my worth, you know? And in, in one year, he was able to do that. And that's why I'm using Brady as an example. I'm not saying Steph would do that and go into the team and do that. But say 
it Brady goes to show that you leave a, a town that you've been in forever, you can still have your legacy intact. We still think of New England with Brady. I mean, look, he leaves the Warriors. We're not gonna be like, of you know, of course not, man. That's a twelve-year history Steph Curry, and a dynasty. S- Steph Curry that he had. Steph Curry is Golden State. Yes. Okay, let's face it, man. This man cannot do. This guy can, can commit twenty murders tomorrow, and this guy <laughs> not the best analogy, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, Yo, I see what you mean. He's gonna still be held like yeah. a like same a, that Tom was New England. Exactly, pretty much. That's but it gonna... goes to show he could leave, and guess what? I think I still think your fans, even your Warriors fans, will will still support you. Same thing happened with Miami. So we still supported Wade, and he goes to another team, bro. Now you get to prove that. It wasn't just the Steve Kerr system or Steve Kerr. Not the Steve Kerr. It's Definitely you, not the yeah, Steve yeah. Kerr system. And it wasn't just the Warriors, you know, the building this team around you. Like, you go and show that you can still lead a whole team. Guess what? And the other thing is, right now, another thing that I bring up player empowerment is, like, player empowerment has allowed a lot of players to just look at the Nets, to build these crazy teams. And guess Avengers. what? Shit. It's just shit out of luck that you're not able to, that Golden State is not able to do that for you. Nobody's going to blame you for like, it's not ring chasing anymore. Now it's just like, bro, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. They're building these incredible fucking teams. I, you're not going to be able to do it, but nobody does it by yourself, by themselves. Jordan yeah. didn't do it. LeBron doesn't do it. Bill Russell didn't do it. So Kobe didn't do it. Robert Ory did it. So what? <laughs> that was good. Uh, so like I feel like okay, there's nothing that would taint Curry from leaving. And if I'm looking at at that, it's like okay, guess what? You're still gonna get a, a max contract from any other player, yeah. any other team. He's gonna, still gonna, gonna get paid. He's, he's gonna get paid either top way. Top money, yeah. They're still gonna people will still follow you around. Uh, most of your fans are gonna follow you because you're an individual brand. It's like the Warriors. He, like you said, he is the Warriors. Like people don't. Fo- a lot of people don't follow the Warriors because of the Warriors. It's like people follow it because of Steph Curry. Same with LeBron. Like a lot of Cavs fans. Like the you know more especially more casual ones weren't Cavs fans. They were LeBron fans. And yeah. when he went to the Heat, went to the Lakers, they follow wherever he goes. Shit, I know a couple people that are like that. Yeah. So Steph is the same way. So that's why I'm like, bro, don't be surprised if he leaves. I was. I ha- I really had to think about this. Like, shit. It's really hard to picture him, but now in today's age, it's actually not too hard because we've seen it happen way too many times. Of course, and hey, you guys, let us know what you guys think in the comments, man. Steph, should Steph Curry leave? Should he go? Yeah. If he okay. leaves, where should he go? And not only what you want, but what do you think will happen? Like right now, we said what we would do in his position. I would say, in my opinion, what I think he's gonna end up doing is, I think he'll end up staying. But don't be too surprised if he ends up leaving. Like, I wouldn't be shocked. I'd be like, oh, okay. I'd be a little surprised, but I'd be like, oh, okay. That makes sense. He ended up leaving. What about you? Like, what he would do. I think he's going to end up staying. Okay, okay. Um, Makes sense. But So let us know what you guys would do and what what you guys think he would do. Either way, as you guys already know, appreciate all the love and the hate. You guys already know, catch us on uh, TikTok, Twitter, Twitter. on Ball Talk Deep. We talk deep about ball. Catch you guys soon for now. Take care.